In this video, I will be going over the different algebraic operations that we will be using uh, with vectors. So this will include addition, subtraction, and scalar multiplication. So let's consider the example where we have v1 equal to 1, 1, v2 equal to negative 2, 0, and v3 equal to 0, negative 1. So if we wanted to add these three vectors together, like this, then in order to compute the sum, all we do is add or subtract along the rows. So what I mean by, is by this, if we plug in the values for each of these vectors, we have 1, 1 plus negative 2, 0 plus 0, negative 1. So we sum up over the rows. So this will equal the vector 1 minus 2 plus 0 and then in the second row, 1 plus 0 minus 1. And by a simple evaluation, we can conclude that this vector is going to be equal to 1 minus 2, which is negative 1, and 0. Now we can also verify this graphically. So if we create a two-dimensional sketch with an x, y axis, first let's start with v1. And let's go ahead and plot it. So v1 goes 1 in the x direction and 1 in the y direction. So v1 is the vector starting from the origin and pointing right here. And now we add v2 to this. And when we add a vector, we start where we left off, which is right here at, at point 1, comma 1. And then we add the components of the next vector. So in this case, v2 goes negative 2 in the x direction and 0 in the y direction. So v2 will bring us over here to negative 1, 1. So here we have v2, and here we have v1. Now we need to consider this last vector in the sum, v3. So v3 will go 0 in the x direction and negative 1 in the y direction. So once again, we start where we left off, and we go negative 1 in the y direction, and we end up right here. So v3 is the vector pointing in this way. So our final answer is going to be the vector that starts from the overall beginning point and points to the overall end point. So this will be the sum of these three vectors and we can see upon inspection that this vector is in fact negative 1, 0 because it has a negative 1 component in the x direction and 0 in the y direction. So let's consider another example where we have v1 is equal to 0, 1, 1 and v2 is equal to the vector negative 2, 1, 0. And let's say that we want to compute the difference between these two vectors. So we'll take v1 minus v2. So we'll be subtracting v2 from v1. And we can do this algebraically pretty easily by just taking the components and subtracting them across the rows, which will give us 0 minus a negative 2, 1 minus 1 and 1 minus 0. And keep in mind that I am using a subtraction operator between all these numbers because I am subtracting up here. So when we evaluate these expressions we get a positive 2, a 0, and 1. So this is the answer but we can also look at this graphically. So let's create a three-dimensional graph. So we have our z our x and our y axes. So our equation begins with v1, so we'll start with v1. And v1 is 0, 1, 1, so it exists in the yz plane. And it just goes 1 in the y direction and 1 in the z direction. So it comes along here and then it goes up here. So v1 is going to be the vector starting from the origin and ending up right here. And now in our equation we're subtracting v2 so since we're subtracting, we look at the components of V2 and we go the opposite direction that these components suggest. For example, V2 has a negative 2 in the x direction, but since we're subtracting, that negative is going to cancel out this negative. So we're going to go a positive 2 in the x direction. So I am going to come a positive 2 in this x direction. And now I go negative 1 in the y direction, which brings me back right here in the x, z plane. So we can sketch this vector. So we started right here and we ended up right here. 
So our overall answer is going to be the vector starting from the origin and ending up at our overall endpoint, which will be this vector right here. And we can see that this point right here is the point 2, 0, 1, which matches this guy up here. So we have verified the answer graphically. So when you're adding and subtracting vectors, all you have to think about is placing the tail end of the next vector at the tip of the previous vector. So for arbitrary vectors that I'm drawing right now, it would look something like this, where your overall answer is going to be the vector that, that points from your overall starting point to your overall ending point. So this is what's happening, but as we start getting into higher dimensions, it's a lot harder to picture. Therefore, we just add and subtract vectors by thinking of it as summing across the rows. All right, so now I want to introduce scalar multiplication with vectors. And all that means is we have a number and we're multiplying it by a vector. So this can be something like having the number two and multiplying it by the vector one, one, one. And when we perform this operation, all we do is we take each component of the vector and apply the multiplication across each component. So for example, this two times this vector one, one, one will come out to be the vector two times one, two times one, and two times one, which we all know would be two, two, two. And this works for any scalar C where it doesn't have to be two, it can be a negative number, a positive number, a real number, or even an imaginary number. And as far as multiplication and division with vectors go, we actually don't have any operations defined for multiplying vectors, and we also don't have any operations defined for dividing vectors. Instead, we have other operations like dot product and cross product but these operations do not have the same physical meaning that conventional multiplication and division have with numbers. So we will come back to these concepts in later videos. But for now, we are only concerned with addition, subtraction, and scalar multiplication uh, with the vectors. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.